definitely the earliest I've been out in a while. Normally, this summer at least, I haven't even been up this early. <laughs> I'm kind of forcing myself to, um, I'm basically forcing myself to get up early um, because I'm just trying to shift my sleep schedule a little bit for classes starting next week. I need to be a, I, it's not like I have super early classes, but beautiful morning though. Holy cow, I missed this. I've missed this feeling of the morning. The morning sun, everything. Holy cow. It's like I'm an alien. I'm on a new planet. Ooh. Feels kind of good though, I can't lie. After riding in hot temperatures for so long, I uh, am almost grateful to have this kind of stuff, man. This, this late fall, or sorry, early fall, late summer. Yes, please. Anyway, so I've had a couple comments on a few of my previous videos asking um, about my camera setup and how I have my camera and microphone set up for these, for these videos that I've been recording for a little while now. Um, it took me a while to perfect. At first it was just kind of uh, trial and error. And then I started figuring out a little bit better way of doing things. And there's still some things I should have done better and I will recommend in this video that probably will help uh, anybody seeking to start recording do it better than I did. <laughs> so, um, obviously the first main area of concern is uh, getting an action camera. So I went with GoPro, uh, as I think a lot of people do. It's honestly become kind of the standard nowadays, it seems like, it's just getting a GoPro. Uh, but there are viable options out there aside from GoPro. I know that I can't, I can't think of the brand name for me off the top of my head right now, but it's like uh, Insta360 maybe or something like that, or I don't know what it is. But there's another big brand out there that makes action cameras that, from what I hear, are just as dang good as GoPros. And, you know, I think like even DDFM is maybe sponsored by them and he uses them. So, um, nonetheless, you don't have to get a GoPro, but that's what I got. Um, I will say that my experience with it has been pretty pretty dang good so far so uh, but I have the GoPro Hero 9 I'll try and I'll try and put pictures up as I go through and edit this video I have the GoPro Hero 9 I didn't want to lash out the money and get the Hero 10 um, I'm sure the Hero 11 is going to be coming out soon um, you know it just depends on your preference uh, I was tempted to get the Hero 8 just for price reasons uh, but I you know, decided I wanted to be, you know, make my stuff a little bit more quality. Um, I think the Hero 9 records at, it records at 4K, 60 frames per second. Um, I believe it does up to 5K at 30 frames, which I never really do. Um, but anyways, that's the camera I use. I had to purchase uh, uh, the media mod for the camera which is another issue that I'm kind of a little upset about, but to, to allow me to record with external audio and not just using the camera's microphones, I, uh, I bought the media mod because this, it gives you a port that you can hook a microphone up to, which I have done. And that media mod, with that media mod, I have plugged in a microphone. It's called, the, the brand is called Purple Panda. It's like a small company. I bought it off Amazon. It's, it was like maybe 30 bucks or something. I am very pleased with it. I think it does a very good job. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how I have it. Um, so the part that I kind of messed up is the chin mount. Um, there's a company actually called Chin Mounts and they make like flush uh, adhesive uh, mounts that you can put on that fit your GoPro. They fit everything. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, those would be like the best option if you were uh, just starting out. But in my case, 
if you don't want to spend the money on a chin mount or whatever, I don't think that's expensive, but if you want to spend the money, I'll show a picture of how I have mine set up. I just use the standard, there's an adhesive that comes with the GoPro, um, an adhesive mount that comes with the GoPro, but on most helmets it's not going to fit flush on your helmet, and so it's going to be hard to actually stick it on there. But the adhesive is pretty strong, and um, you know, there's ways around it. So what I did is I just went and bought a, a bit of epoxy and um, <laughs> just lathered it in there in the in like the cracks. It doesn't look very good though. That's my only issue with it is that it's kind of it kind of got messy. Um, I cleaned it up as best I could, but you know, it kind of got messy putting epoxy on the on the sides of my helmet. But it did work, and it's worked thus far. It hasn't fallen off yet. Um, but yeah, I just use the uh, the adhesive mount that GoPro uh, that GoPro gives you with their um, with the product, and so that's how I have it mounted on there. Um, and then there's a little um, there's a little uh, like slider that you put on that has the actual mount. You clip that in the uh, the the part that you uh, this that you stick to the helmet. Actually, mount the camera upside down. Now, uh, you may be wondering, oh, you know, like, am, I gonna, am I gonna have to flip the audio, or sorry, flip the video or anything? No, you don't. GoPro is, uh, you know, it obviously it always, uh, it always flips the, the, uh, the video for you. When you start it out, it makes it, you know, upright or whatever. Dang, people say mine sound like a lawnmower. My bike does. <laughs> Anyways, you know, GoPro automatically, like, makes the audio, or make, gosh, why do I keep saying audio? It makes the video, um, it makes the video proper, upright, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter that you have to flip it upside down. I flip it upside down so it's a little bit closer to my, like, chin, uh, just to get a little bit better POV. For a while, I had it dangling down quite a bit. It was, a uh, I had the mount backwards. I had it on the, you know, I had it clipped on there backwards. And so it was hanging down a little bit low and it was a bit uncomfortable. But another thing that I will mention with the microphone, you don't have to get a media mod and connect it to the GoPro. You can record separate audio, so you could get like a, um, you know, like a nice microphone, like a Tascam or something like that, and just record separate audio. But when you do that, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to link the audio with the video. You're going to have to sync them together. Which, if you're a newbie editor, that might be kind of difficult at first, but. Um, but yeah, I didn't really want to spend the money on a big mic. You know, it was good to just get the media mod and made it really simple for me because then GoPro, it automatically syncs the audio with that GoPro. And so the, your video and audio are automatically together. You don't have to do any syncing, which is, it was nice in my case because the syncing stuff was kind of hard for me. It also depends just on what video editor you use. Now yeah, that's basically my setup. Like I said, I'm gonna try and uh, implement some small short videos that show me, uh, you know, putting together my setup and everything and that kind of stuff to hopefully get a better visual on it yeah um, hopefully this helps out anybody who is uh, looking to start recording and you know using a microphone and stuff like that uh, I tried to make it as simple as possible this is just my setup and this is just advice you don't have to follow it um, but yeah, I know a lot of people have questions about it, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I can help out a little bit. If you if you have further questions, leave them in the comments, video suggestions, whatever it may be. But yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you later. Peace.